Hello and welcome to my channel, China where we make structural engineering design simple and easy. I want to say thank you once again to all who are subscribed to our China and those who have been sending pleasant words and encouraging words to us. We say we appreciate you. We really do appreciate. And those who are yet to subscribe to our channel, please click the subscribe button. So that when we put up videos like this, you will be notified. You will be the first to be notified. I want to say today we'll be talking about pie design pie design we've been getting different questions about how to design pie how to design pie and today we'll be talking about pie design so please pay attention to the end for you not to miss out not to miss out we will be dealing with pie design so we dive straight right in Please go through our previous video. I will not be explaining how we model, how we analyze, and how we got to this position. I will not be uh, discussing that. So go to our previous videos. We've really explained a lot there. So once you go through it, you will understand. So we've already run the analysis and every other thing so please check our previous videos we explained that so there's something about pi pi foundation pi foundation you use pi foundation where you are having heavy loads the first is if you are going high let's say five six seven eight nine 10 story buildings where your load is very heavy and raft cannot carry it when a raft foundation cannot carry the next foundation you need to do is pie and also you use your pie when the soil capacity is not good so you need to bury the pie deep down to a firmer soil that is the reason so we've already done our analysis and i told you after you've done that the first thing you need to do after that after you finish your analysis let's let me show you this you click on this um icon active window settings if if your your let's assume this is how after you've done your design this is how it will come you can't find the column loads on it so go to this icon click on column and you say as is then click here and select all the load combination that you want and now we are having this if you look at this uh we are having two three eight seven this is a five story building that we've analyzed if you look at them they are different different column load position different column load position now we are having 3378.7 kilonewton very high so loads like this and the next thing you need to do is your soy your soy reports very important your soy reports so for for if you must do any building you must request for your soy reports and we have our soy reports here if you look at it this are our soy reports but the very okay now if you look these are the different pie sizes that was used at 300 diameter for this pie for this um, soy test report for 300 at 8 meter depth its capacity ultimate capacity is maybe capacity is 315 kilonewton why is safe working load 
is 1 of 5 at factor of 3. Same thing with the pi capacity of 4, 50 at 8 meter depth. Its capacity is 570. And the safe working load is 190. Then 600 we are having at 8 meter depth. We are having 750. Why safe working load is 250. 250. Please pay attention. There's something here that if you miss, you will miss it a lot. So there's something here. If we we use this, and mind you, our 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 load. Let's assume we want to determine the number of of pies that would be here at three thousand three seventy eight. Let's say. 3378 if you divide it by 250 <coughs> we are talking about 14 pies which is too much at 8 meter depth you need to if if you look at that it's too much so go back to your soil report look at this just 8 meter depth check for 9 check for 10 meter depth 11 t you have at this point the soil is still not firm it's still not good so if you look at the soil report this now shows at 8 9 10 11 t 20 meter depth at each of them at each of them this are uh, the pie capacity that we are having the safe working loads of those pies that we are having so if you look at them, if you are to use 300 um, mm pi, these are their various capacities. So even at 20, you are having 832. And if we do that, and if we do that, we say 3378 divided by 832. You are talking about mm, roughly four four pies or five pies here that we that will carry this at 20 meter depth which is just too much so go to the next pie diameter if you look at at 20 here we are having a 32 but at 14 let's say 14 meter we are having this which is still too expensive for us so we'll go back to 600 at 11 we are having this at 12 meter depth we are having 1304 so what we do is we'll stick with 600 diameter pi and we'll go down up to um 12 meter is much more economical for us and better for us to use so that is what we will use for our design so if we come here now since we've gotten an idea of what we'll be using we'll come to setting you we'll click on setting we'll come to foundation design setting you this will pop click on pie cap design we have this circular pipe we have the penetration as 75 you can do 75 to 150 depending on what you want to do then we are using this as 600 as as our pi as our pi diameter then if you come here now from our soil test report we are using 1304 as as our safe working load and here is telling us the ultimate uh, compressive capacity so what you do is we have 3105 which is this times a factor 1.4 to make it ultimate and we have 1827 so we can now put it here 1818 Two seven, maybe one eight two two seven. So you can leave this here. 
then our default pi length will now be the penetration depth that we are excavating it to which is 12 that will be your pi length in this so it becomes a pi length and this all this goes then you can put instead in there you make the number of pies to be one the minimum number of pies for it to design one then 100 maximum so it plays with that then our pie cap depth if the if the pie if the pie diameter is less than 600 the pie diameter is less than 600 the pi depth will be 2 times the diameter plus 100 boys if it's greater than 600 it becomes 8 times the diameter minus 600 divided by 3 this is what you use for your depth this is maximum and minimum we can say minimum 400 depending on what to do you said okay once you've done that go to um, your foundation level so two ways you can either do them one after the other you click insert pie cap and allow it to 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 process hmm? just give it some time for it to process and after that you've gotten what you want okay you now said you can either say design and you say okay and you get it here this is one way and the other way is for you to alight all of them when you alight all of them you can alight right click and you said insert pie cap when you say then you click on design all and it's we design it all selected and it has finished design you said okay and this is it so you can still do for this other part but i'm just only showing you this this is how you design for your pie and you can now export you can now go to um you can now go to load load proto detail and export yes yeah, save the work and export your work okay you can now click on your pie cup detail you say you can either design them one after the other or you you design all of them one after the other this is it so it has detailed everything so you export and for exporting please go through our other videos i really go through our other videos where i'm not going to show you how to export check our other videos on how to export to autocad and that is what you we get so if you look carefully the file there's an autocad file that i have already worked on about how to arrange the files and every everything how you detail your work everything that you've done is on on this um, autocad file and i will be putting the the, the the link on the description where you can assess you can assess the file i used and you can assess the file i use and you can do your own your own the way you like and arrange it the way you like 
so i this is how you detail or you design your pi foundation so if you still have any question or any area that you are still not clear please comment on the comment section and tell us and we will be glad to answer you and if you are yet to subscribe to our channel please click the subscribe button if you've gained value from any of our videos please let us know and also click the subscribe button so till we see remain blessed bye